Hey guys, what's up? So today, I'm gonna show you how to create fuller, luscious, juicy looking lips without a needle. So let's begin with my first tip. Um, and if you don't have it, you might need to visit your local dentist. It's a toothbrush. And of course, your favorite lip balm, the one I'm using here is Rosebud. Very, very popular and a cult favorite. With your toothbrush loaded up with the lip balm, or Vaseline, petroleum, jelly, whatever you have around you. Instead of brushing your teeth, start brushing your lips in a circular motion like this. You wanna make sure that your toothbrush has a harder bristle instead of a softer one because you want it to be hard so that it can exfoliate it properly. Like this. Just keep scrubbing it. I'd say scrub it for like a good two minutes. You don't wanna overdo it. So just wipe everything off. And Ooh, this is definitely bigger. Should be good to go. But if you want this to last a little longer than an hour or so, I recommend either using cayenne pepper or cinnamon powder. Either or will work because it's gonna swell up your lips and your lips will probably look fuller for a good two to three hours. Um, depending on how hard you rub it in. Just doing a test on your wrist first because you want to make sure that you're not allergic to either the cayenne pepper or the cinnamon powder. So I like to take a little bowl like this. You can either use your favorite extra virgin olive oil, like this one right here, or again, your lip balm. Pour either the olive oil or mix in a little bit of the lip balm into your bowl. And you really don't need that much, just a little bit. A little goes a long way and you don't want to waste good olive oil. I'm gonna use the cinnamon powder to show you how it works. And you really just need a teaspoon. I like to just guesstimate and pour a little bit in. And that looks like a teaspoon. Good enough. So it's gonna look like this, and you're going to mix up the mixture. Just start scrubbing your lips in a circular motion. It's going to promote blood flow to your lips and kind of give it a stinging sensation and swell it up. So with your toothbrush, start scrubbing it on your lips. I think my lips are gonna look super huge at the end of the video, because this is only, I'm still on the first tip. Hmm, <laughs> a little tasty, interesting, a little spicy. And the cool thing is that everything I'm using here is organic and it's all natural, which is really nice. Okay, I think that is enough. You'll know when, when you're done because you're gonna feel um, that stinging sensation. It's not painful, it's just, um, it's, just ha it's like a, a nice little sting, you know? It's kind of like when you're eating a spicy food and you have uh, some of the spiciness on your lips. It's the exact same feeling. So with um, your paper towel again, just wipe off. So here you can already tell that my lips, they look a little fuller. So this already is going to look fabulous and amazing and it's all natural. And if you're not much of a DIY person and you prefer buying, then check out Bliss's Pro Tool Series. This is their fabulous Pout-O-Matic. So I'm gonna try it out and see if it works. It's battery powered. Um, it looks like a toothbrush, but it's really for your lips. You can hear it, it's a machine and it spins you use their Fabulips Sugar Lip Scrub. Kind of load it up on the brush. Okay. It's getting really interesting. Press the power button to power it up. And juicy Fabulous Lips, here we come. It wasn't as abrasive as my toothbrush. The bristles on this brush is extremely hard. And you can scrub the plaque and the floor with this thing. Tip number two is good old fashioned lip liner. The trick is to find a lip liner that matches your natural lip color. And I'm using here Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. This is my favorite lip liner pencil. All right, so this technique is called overdraw. And when you're overdrawing, what you're really essentially doing is lining outside your lips just a tad bit. You don't want to overdraw too much or else you're gonna get super crazy looking lips. Enough talking, I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my lip liner and you wanna make sure it's sharpened. The first thing you wanna do is smile. Either smile like this or do this. Because you want the surface of your lips to be flat so that it looks taut and it's easier to draw over it. So I'm gonna do a little smile and then start outlining just a little outside your natural lip line. And depending on the shape that you want to create, you can either create a strong cupid's bow or um, soften your cupid's bow and rounding it out a bit. Essentially, you know, just have fun with the shape. I, I recommend experimenting and playing with different shapes. 
because you never know what's going to look good until you try all of them. So you can see right here, I drew a little outside my natural lip line and it doesn't look crazy. It still looks natural. What you want to do next is fill in the lips. So make sure to bomb up your lips, but remove a little bit of it because um, if you don't, your lip liner is going to slip and slide and it's not going to stick on. So go ahead and fill in the rest of your lips. And here we go. Can you see the difference? So after this, what you want to do is you can either add um, like a nude lip color and this is going to enhance uh, the fullness of your lips or good old fashioned lip balm. And just focus on applying this on the center of your lips instead for a nice three dimensional look. The next tip is a very unconventional way to not only plump up your lips, but to remove any fine lines and wrinkles. So if you're a huge smoker and you stop smoking or you know you want to get rid of those smoker lines around your lips, or as you age, you lose a lot of fat and volume around your lip area, so it starts deflating, which, you know, unfortunate, but there is a way to um, help reproduce collagen and also remove the fine lines. And honestly, I love this trick. I've been doing this for the past six months and already my lips have looked completely different. And the trick here is derma roller. You can either go on Google, Amazon, and look up derma roller. Um, I don't know if you can see it from here, but these are micro needles. And what you're doing essentially is you're micro needling your lips and it's creating little microscopic tears and holes on the surface of your skin or lips. First, I like to roll it vertically and then horizontally, then diagonally on both sides. Also, you know, have an even pressure. You don't want to press too hard because it's going to hurt. It's like as if you were kissing your boyfriend and he had a very rugged beard. That's what it really feels like, um, which is not a bad thing. I mean, if you're into that stuff, um, but you know, no pain, no gain, right? But not even that painful. So after you rolled your lips and you've micro needled it from here, you can start adding uh, serums. You can add oils or you can even use something that I prefer lip enhancing product. It's by Jouer, Jouer, Jouer. Did I say it right? Jouer, Jouer, just let me know in the comment below if I said it right, because I'm really bad at my French. Really good stuff though. So I like to then, after I micro needle my lips, then I apply a generous amount of this product all over your lips like this. So just apply this on and sleep. And if you want to get a little fancy schmancy with uh, your lip product, you can instead use a collagen lip mask like this by Satin Smooth. They're a collagen lip plumping mask and they look like this. And I'll show you how <laughs> ridiculous it looks, but it does work beautifully. And again, do this at night. Cause you know, can you imagine doing this before lunch? You look ridiculous. Put this over your lips. This is why I recommend using it at night when you're sleeping. So it's like this. If you're gonna be sleeping with your lover, I recommend um, not wearing them because they look a little scary. Your lover will thank you because your lips will look awesome and fabulous. And yes, I said lover because I don't know if you have a boyfriend, husband, whoever it is, it's someone you love. Tip number four is really easy. You can either use a concealer stick or a lip liner that is a flesh tone color. So I'm using here um, MAC but you can also use NYX Wonder Pencil. You can use a concealer too. Really depends on what you have in your makeup bag or makeup kit. Um, but I'm gonna use the combination of both because I'm gonna show you how this technique works. So focusing right on the center of your lips, what you wanna do is fill in this area right here. You can see already that my lips have this beautiful three-dimensional look. And you wanna add a bit more on the bottom of your lip. This will pop out your lower lip, giving you um, more dimension and highlight right along your cupid's bow. So now that you have your concealer or lip liner in place, what you want to do now is blend everything out. You want to keep the lightness along the center of your lips, so don't over blend. Just feather out the edges like this. And if you want, you can bump it up a bit too. Blend, blend, blend. So now that you have everything blended, the last step is to add a nude lip gloss over your lips. All right, um, we just faked fuller looking lips thanks to concealer pencil or a flesh tone lip liner and lip gloss. I am saving the best for last. 
So tip number five is to use a lip enhancing suction cup tool like this. Um, I found this one online through Amazon and it's called Full Lips. It's a lip enhancing product. It's, it's a very simple device. There's no machine or, you know, it's not battery operated or anything. And this is what it looks like. So what this does is that it creates a vacuum around your lips and that way it promotes blood flow and it brings all the blood into your lips instantly plumping it. And I would say that this, out of everything, this will last the longest. So if you want to um, play around with fuller looking lips, you want to take like a cute selfie, um, or even if you know you want to get surgery or lip injections, but you don't want to commit, you want to see how it looks first, this is a really great tool to use before you commit. So I'm going to show you how it works. You can either put water around the edge and this will create a seal. I, I found another technique that works just as well. Putting this over my lips, sucking the air out, leaving it for I would say like a good 10 seconds. I mean, you're gonna feel the blood rushing into your lips and it's going to start feeling very, very swollen. It's not like the cayenne pepper. I mean, this is a different feeling. And um, once you're done, what's gonna happen is that you might get a little scared because it's pretty much stuck onto your lips. What I do to instantly detach it is I blow the air back in and remove the vacuum. You wanna see some crazy, big, gigantic Angelina Jolie lips? Watch. Oof. Whoa. That really worked a little too well. Vava Voom lips. No, but look, you can already see how much bigger my lips look. And it's all through creating a vacuum. Simple sides can solve anything. I wanna see how far I can take this because it's actually really fun. This is really fun to do with your girls and you can take some crazy pictures afterwards and Snapchat it. <laughs> ah! They're so big! Sorry. Okay, so what you're gonna see a lot, oftentimes you're gonna get this redness around your upper lip area. So it's gonna go away. The finished lips. Fuller looking lips. Full looking lips. Duck face, honey. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun um, giving you these demos, even though some parts were very awkward. I hope that you find them helpful and experiment, have fun. I mean, I think that's really the whole point of beauty is, you know, it's in your hands. You get to discover and to create your own beauty. So um, have fun creating your different looks. Show me your juicy lips by tagging me either through Instagram or Twitter so I can find your pictures and like them. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Of course, good luck. Bye. Hi everyone. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, I hate intro. Because you want your surf, you want to make sure that, you want to make sure, so before, before you start overdrawing, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't even matter because it works. That's all I care about. So, <coughs> so wear this at night.